South Padre was awesome. But this is hard to beat. We're at IB McGee Park, another county RV park. It's still there. Hi, we're Paige, Casey, and Henry Wilder, an adventurous trio from the Ozarks of Northwest Arkansas. Join us as we explore in our motorhome and in our own backyard as we seek out authentic travel experiences and ways of living for our small family of three. You guys digging a fire hole? Cool. That's our spot. Henry, do you want to give us a tour of the epic sandcastle? Give us a tour, please. Oh, it's looking oh, real smooth on the front. But your moat's filled in, Mom. We're getting ready to roll. I need a shower! Paige needs a shower. Yeah, we need to dump our tanks. There's an RV park up on the end and Paige is like, let's look at it. The beach is cool, but um, there's there no stations no here. There's no showers. It's very windy. So we're gonna go check it out. We're at IB McGee Park, another county RV park. This one's like brand new. Look at the like, look at the pads. They're like fresh poured. Oh. Hey, I'm pretty sure this rig over here was in South Padre with us. I don't think that Black That's Series campers are, yeah, and they're they're custom and kind of rare. What are we doing, Henry? Making biscuits. Who's making the biscuits? Me. Yeah. All right. Henry made biscuits with very little help from me. Um, he has this like kids cooking kit with like recipes that have pictures and stuff, so it's very easy for him, which is fun. Here they are. All right. That's cool. You guys are on my chest, which is a little awkward. <laughs> it's a little uh, boob enhancing. Okay, hi everyone. Henry helmet. Song Henry. That was a tornado. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna lift you up, Betty. Put and it. And, and this time you should you should stay off and you should put your foot where the kickstand is and roll the bike. Okay. Cause that's cause that's really cause that's way easier easier to to put the Are you teaching me how to ride a bike? I'm teaching you how to how to what's the what what's the easiest Hey look who's here. Oh, George. He wanted to come, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, I hope this is a good view for you guys. I feel like you might be getting a lot of handlebar. Oh, that's cute. We've decided on La Playa. Nice, it's literally across the street. By kind. But that's okay. Oh. He seems a little zippier than I am. The grease dumpster. The grease dumpster. Yeah, yeah, there's grease in there. Looks like there's a weight, y'all. Okay. We're waiting for a table. What a thing. It's, it's been so a long time since we've so waited long. for a table. Oh, I thought we were marveling at our GoPro. <laughs> but people probably don't want to watch video of us marveling at the GoPro. Look they'll at think, it. They'll think we're marveling at them. Hey, you look cool, dude. I want to see what the go. I want to see. see I want to. I want to take a picture of you with it. Okay, last ride on the beach. What are you thinking, guys? Why is Casey riding to the wedding? <laughs> Oh, cool. That's cool. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, the sand's really dry. Henry gets excited about being splashed yeah. when you ride in the ocean. Hi. We're hosed down. We're hosed down. Look at these bricks. What is there? That'd be twelve dollars. We have a flat tire. It's been an ongoing thing. So tomorrow we're gonna hit up a tire shop. Casey's gonna call some in the morning and see who can get us in. And then hopefully we can do a three and a half hour drive to a harvest host. Hopefully we can get a harvest host. <laughs> Vacation's over. Back to work, right? Not really. We'll still manage to have fun. We're headed back home. No more yeah. beach. I'm sad. We'll have to go to a tire shop. We have a flat tire. I told him. You tell him that? That we made it off that sandy ass beach with a flat tire? Yeah, we've had a problem. A we've had a problem shop. with one of our dualies. We've got another good tire. The but tire shop. That is not good for the other tire. It was a, they, they did a bad job. Good morning everyone. There's a giant boat sliding across. God, there's so much sand from the dunes on our window. There's a big boat out there, y'all. Looks like it's just grinding across the land, but that's how close we are to the bay. But we would have to know, know how, to, how to stop it. Yeah, we have to learn how to stop the boat, for sure. Yeah. That's important to boat ownership. We're having French toast this morning and yogurt. It's the leftover coffee because Casey toast. hasn't made coffee yet. I'm looking for him outside. He was taking a call. Poor kid's got two skin knees. Good thing we have cool band aids, huh? The kind we're having right now is this, this, is this good. The other kind. Oh. Yeah. Casey's back and he's making fresh coffee. I'm back. Where did I go? To your meeting. Oh, outside, yeah. I'm having a really good eyelash day. Wanted you guys to see. <gasps> see. Almost made decaf. So good. That would have sucked. We're leaving Port A. On the way back north. About to go back on the ferry. You want me to take two lanes? No. Just take it out. Okay. It's not a ferry, dude. It's a big, like, container ship. Also, check out this little overland came through. Warmo car. That looks badass. Yeah, it's like this boat's just crossing the street up here. It's crazy. We have a front row seat to all the comings and goings of the... What's this called? Ferry. Well, I know, but like the waterway here. It's a pass. It's a pass. This is a Rans's Pass. There it is. I remembered. What do you think, little monkey? Is this cool? No, it's going to take us to a Rans's Pass. It's going to take us to Walmart. We got to get our tire looked at. We're running on a flat tire right now. Good thing it's a dually. It's kind of amazing how those can hold up. It's only 10 miles. It's our turn. More this way? Straight down the middle. Yeah, it look straight down the middle to me. Okay. More this way? What are you telling me? I don't know. He's telling you to You're go that way. He's telling me multiple in. things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say what? Every time I'm trying to tell you this way, you pop oh, back in the middle. I couldn't, I couldn't tell, yeah. You don't want to make sure you have to stay up the big things coming with you. 
Oh, good. I see him. Every time I told you to go this way, you went that way. I'm like, no, I went that way, and then you would tell me, center, center, center. Like, your signals were bad. That was, that was not a big... That was, There's the recycling truck. Get rode with us, you guys. See if we'll take our recycling, you mean? Now we're going. upstream and go, I'm gonna do a go around on this one. It's gonna have to really jab us in there. Gun it, Captain. It's following my instructions. Look Henry, the boat full of cars over there. He's sliding in. No, we've been referred to a third tire place. For what it's worth, no one's even looked at the tire yet. I've just told them about the hose being bad and said, oh, we don't have those. So the, the dually in the back has an extension hose that connects so you can air it up from the outside. It goes through into the second one, in case you just explained it to me. So there you go. Now I can explain it to you. Before we left, we had it looked at because we had a flat and they said that had a leak. They took it apart, reconnected it apparently, but maybe the hose has a leak and needs to be replaced. So this tire shop said they don't have those hoses and said to go to another one. They fixed it and it was 20 bucks and cash only and we only had $23 cash, perfect. so it was perfect. Um, actually, it was not flat, it was overinflated. We just, um, the little thing where you inflate it wasn't working right. This is the ladies park. But they can't find anyone in Texas that's willing to mow it. Yeah, right? The women's club of Aranza's Pass. That's pretty. We're going to a whole different park. We're going to the saddest park of all time. The review was, this is a sad park, but it's near the library, so for you. Okay. No, these people haven't seen a sad park. They need to go whatever park that was in Texas, Canada. Okay. The one in Van Buren. That was a sad part. Oh, that's a nice playground. The yeah, review must have been before this because it said they we read that review and sleep. they said we got to do something about this sad ass park. Yeah. Palm yeah. trees, guys. It's so beachy still. Palm tree park. Okay, we've got leftovers. Henry and I are just going to share a plate. Be careful getting down. I'll hold the door. Well, everybody, we're about to leave out from Aranzas Pass at lunch at a park, and we are officially booked for our first harvest host. We tried all the way down and couldn't get one booked, but we're booked at Battle Hops Brewing just outside of Houston. Our fan, after we got the cover fixed, worked as far as the cover and kept the elements out, but we couldn't get the fan to turn on. I thought it was the switch that detects it's open. I did some maintenance work while we were parked. We have a blown fuse, so that's easy. Stop at a hardware store at some point. Low priority for now, right? The fan? Yeah. yeah. We're still like, I feel like we haven't left we're supposed yet. to get on the road. I was like, ah, we'll be on the road by 10. It is like 2.30. Okay, we, but we went to three tire shops. So. Three tire shops, and we got across the ferry, which took an hour anyway, no matter what we did, so. Back there. I know you hate this. 
Okay, should we put the ice cream in? I'm worried gonna like it. Yeah, you're gonna have to drink some of that. Harvest House update. It was really fun. The beer was good. The food was delicious. It was very, like, took a long time, but it's really busy in there. It's a Friday night and they're not really a restaurant. We get it. Henry's finishing his hot dog. How's it going? Yeah. His bedtime was an hour and a half ago. Paige is outside getting her exercise on. Come on. Crazy storm just blew through. So we are moving to the other side of the building just because the wind is blowing at us and on the other side we'll be protected. Man, I might get right here on the side of this one. That's where we're going, folks. There's a laundromat nearby. Page is sorting. We're doing it all. We're washing everything. Look at all this laundry material. What's up, kiddo? Are you buzzing? It's a bee. The storm was intense. The storm got worse than you saw. Oh, don't sting me, Mr. Bean. It was a bad storm. We found shelter. Well, in the RV, next to a building. That's the second time we had to do that on this trip. Texas National Weather Service to sleep at the wheel. They're just like, send out a severe thunderstorm warning that's like, hey, there was a storm 10 minutes ago. Thanks for that. Did you know there was a big storm? I heard it. You heard it? It was pretty boomy and then had to move the RV while you were sleeping. You need the laundry mat. Gotta get all the sand out of the sheets and everything. Who's in there? George is in there? Where is he? Oh, I saw him. Behind the button says hi. <laughs> Laundry's all done. We're headed to the Katy, Texas Farmer's Market. Oh, we're going down a really steep driveway. This is the kind of thing you can't show from yeah. the RV. Ooh. Katy, Texas. It's the Katy, Texas Farmer's Market. And it's like... We don't need anything at all, but... It's cool. It's in like a Kroger parking lot which was very convenient for parking the big rig. Henry, do you want to go to the farmer's market? Too bad. Oh my gosh, me too. Let's do it. Replacement fuses. For? This fan. Get it. Closed. Keep the old open. <gasps> you fixed it! Our hero! Hashtag fan life. Exciting, but now we have to figure out where the hell we're going. Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? I didn't take my phone, did it ring? Not that I know of. It's Harvest House. Some of them are flaky AF. Mm. Well, let me just go see if there's a vacancy somewhere. And if there's a vacancy, then we will confidently drive towards Nacogdoches. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. But cool. the one in Nacogdoches is like in this little island. There's nothing around them. Well, the only RV park I called acted like I was an idiot for trying to book something on Saturday Memorial Day weekend. There's a bunch of campsites. There's some national forest. In worst case scenario, we sleep in a Walmart parking lot, which really wouldn't be that different from what we did last night. I'm driving, and maybe they'll call back from the vineyard and tell us that they have a spot for us. And if not, we'll figure something out. There's a bunch of options up there. Let's go. Parking lot. Three hours. Nacogdoches. We're coming back. We held like, up. All right, let's make some time. <laughs> There's a tractor. emergency. Alright everybody. God, my gray ass beard when the sunlight hits it, that's crazy.
stopped waiting for this train in Jefferson, Texas. All of our main cameras run out of storage because we have to stop and edit video tonight. Um, so I'm filming on my phone, but what happened? We did get the ice cream. There's ice cream in the freezer. We had ice cream sandwiches. Uh, our harvest hosts in Nacogdoches ended up flaking out on us. I don't know, we looked up a bunch of campgrounds and stuff. We found some like roadside RV parks for like 50 bucks a night. We found a harvest house called Whitetail Ranch in Decal, Texas. And they were super rad. Gave us a booking with like, you know, less than three hours notice. So we ended up going a further two hours north, which means we're even closer to home, but about to go get settled in at our second harvest host stay of the trip. Oh, train's gone. Bye bye train. Now it's our turn. All right, so we got this Torsino or Torchino. I'm not even sure how you pronounce it. I'm not even sure what it is. It's definitely starting to look more like pork. Um, it really looks like chicken though. I don't know. I thought it was chicken at the time. Anyway, we got it at the Mexican grocery store right next to our laundromat today. Henry's been in a car seat all day. We're at our harvest house. We're on a farm in DeKalb, Texas. Right next to all the guinea hens and the roosters. And we are grilling tacos. The end result. Henry's just going hard on that avocado over there. It's huge. It's really good. These, are, it's like these, really soft. these tacos are so legit and I don't even really know what it is. I'm gonna look it up and find out. I think it was Torino, is that what I said? See, now I don't even remember. Check out this dinner sunset. I'm true. My treasure came from Germany. That's in Europe. Yeah. Henry's telling us about his European imaginary friend. What's his name? Garland. Garland. He appeared around Christmas time, so. Yeah, he didn't appear around Christmas time. Well, I would first heard about him around Christmas time. Well, it's morning time at our harvest house. We had a really good stay. Right, was it fun? Yeah. Did you like it here? Yeah. We're on a farm. We got woken up by the roosters and the donkeys this morning. This is our spot. We did some looking after uh, driving past our harvest host that flaked out on us and just kind of getting focused on this place and pushing all the way. Checked the map this morning and we're easily within a day's drive, even at our slow speed and, you know, low mileage considerations of home. So we thought we might have another night on the road, but I think we can make it all the way home no problem today before sunset. We're gonna stop at Broken Bow State Park in Oklahoma, use the dump station, have lunch, and then push the rest of the way back to Fayetteville. <laughs> Kinda crazy. What? Good morning, says the rooster. Paige said this is the least glamorous place she's ever made lunch. We're sitting at the dump station. But it's so busy here, and we're kind of squatting this park. No one's going to come through here till tomorrow. No one, yeah, tomorrow's the big dump day, I imagine. Tomorrow's Memorial Day. Um, so we're just kind of sitting here making lunch, and then we're going to get the F out of this park. Yeah! We never saw a gate to pay a day use fee, but we would have if we did. And maybe come back. Yeah, this is cool. Good scouting. It's very big. Well, Paige was getting everyone else set up. They've all got mobile snack stations. Henry, you good? Got your sandwich? I think he's got a mouthful of peanut butter. Yep. Oh my gosh, the crowds. It's absurd. Henry made these biscuits. Isn't that cool? Peanut butter all over it. <laughs> Hour 23 from home. Stop for fuel and ice cream. Everyone get your ice cream? I got my ice cream. 
Let's bring it in, everybody. I'm too high up to use to get to the door code, so Paige has to punch it in for me. There it goes. Let's go on the other side. Don't get locked out. You can go first if you're worried. <laughs> Henry, we're gonna pick up a hitchhiker. It's mom. If you're new here, we rode our bikes from our house to the storage place where we, we keep the we've RV. We've been parking the RV in storage since we bought our new house because we haven't gotten the driveway fixed yet. Wow, it's, it's a, a long story. <laughs> we took three car loads of stuff from the house to the RV and loaded it. And then we jumped on the bikes and rode, loaded them up and drove off. Get these rusty chains. <laughs> Sean is going to be happy. We're gonna have to clean these up. Oh, yeah, we'll have she to has make a video about. Chains. Surely she's figured her own chain out by now, but. Yeah. I'm sorry if I ruined my bike. These bikes are squeaking, they got gear skipping. They're gonna get a solid tune up, right, Mom? on YouTube. She plays violin for uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, right? On the uh, Living Big in a Tiny House series with the guy from New Zealand. We almost got creamed, y'all. Our home! Oh, it's so shady. All the leaves have come in. It's shady town up here. Wow. Um. Ta-da. Oh, it smells nice in here. How'd that happen? They're gone. I wasn't fast enough. All right. We've just gotten done with an epic clean out of the RV. Why did you roll the windows back up? Because dude, I don't want all this crap flying out the windows. We got bedding, we got stuff, we got food. We're out of here. That's probably where this ends. It's kind of the end of the series, at least the vlogs of the series. We've got some follow-up videos we're gonna make of the cleanup and bike repairs and uh, I never got around to installing that inverter. We just never needed it on this trip, which is kind of a good sign. It's a, it's a nice to have, not a must have. Going home. Bye everybody.